Masculinity. Marcus Allen. Get on in the most here. Masculine Mar masculine. I'm sorry. <laughs> get I was here. running down the hallway so fast because I heard you guys talking about reproductive Babies? organs. Did I get here in time <laughs> Go. for that discussion? <laughs> yeah, you did. I've had my <laughs> eggs frozen. Uh, oh, that's a whole other topic. Oh, no, we're not. Freezing oh, okay. eggs. I'm about to start freezing my eggs. Can it, it's like, Megan, is like, Megan is like 16, y'all. Okay, <laughs> Megan is like She's 16. Like, oh, hashtag her period. So paranoid. Man, I just want to have a nice, big old, happy family like Marcus Allen. Yeah. How's that going, yeah, Marcus? Right. Who just celebrated an anniversary yesterday? Yes. Right. Right. Because you we wanted to come years. and push change. What woman would be willing to put up with you? Oh, for four years. Years. She said well, it, not, let me, not let me, us. Let me, let me put it this it. way. It wasn't 24 straight years. Oh. Okay. oh. Some sections here and there. No. In fact, we, we separated earlier um, around 2 this morning, but we're back oh, together again. <laughs> I was like, cool. we're gonna, we're gonna die. I was going to get all into That's the team. That's amazing. Mark, you're what? a great man. No, it's this is my wife. I could call her like I did today at, at 5 in the morning and go, I'm so scared. I think someone stole my backpack out of my car. Do you mind checking the house? And my wife got up and searched our house. Okay. He also told us a story. He told me a story the other day about your wife having to drive you in like at 2 a.m. Because <gasps> something about misplacing key. I, I don't even. Your Uber didn't show up. Lyft. I, really? Your wife? In That's case you think I'm falling back year. on old behavior. No. It was car <laughs> failure. <laughs> it wasn't. He was getting was us for our morning meeting. Failure. As I'm was, saying it, I'm like, It was Whoa. car failure and it's hard <laughs> to get <laughs> lifts to go to the deep dark hoods like Rose. <laughs> I couldn't get anyone no. to pick me up in a lift. Yeah, no. oh. um, which, by the way, can we congratulate Marcus Allen hey, on the Emmy? Emmy? What? Emmy. This is how I have to find out. And, and producer Billy for being behind the 9 a.m. show called Extra Shot 9, 930. The creative team. For Extra, doing oh, the God. For this the is promo. Extra Shot. This is Extra, extra butter. butter. Extra Butter. You guys had a cool show. promo. That's though. right. That one that I made. That was so cool. cool. Promo. Nationally, we are the only movie show to win an Emmy Award for the commercial for our <laughs> movie show. <laughs> Where Marcus Allen has a drink and popcorn and you throw The commercial is so almost as good as the show, That's though. That's right. No, really watch. Someday good. we hope to have a show as good as the commercial for the show. Oh, That's all I'm saying. Stop it. <laughs> well, one more time, when can you catch extra butter? Uh, check your local listings, but I would <laughs> highly suggest 9.30 on ABC 10, and then it reruns. Right after Dina Kupfer. Perfect. Fridays yeah. Mm -hmm. That's or right. Or just watch the promo. You oh, won't be disappointed. Producer Billy, 6.30 p.m. on Sundays. Okay, so okay, don't, double do. Deep. Don't forget. An extra content available on Facebook. Wow. Okay. Okay. <laughs> the, blo the blooper. Okay. That's right. And then it, they rerun it also like if something goes wrong, like if the Snuggy infomercial or something <laughs> doesn't make it in time, then they'll rerun Just our show. Just put an extra shot. <laughs> Emmy Award winning. Throw oh, it in extra there. butter. Sorry. See what happens when the extras... Let's extra. get to Wonder Woman. Well, you okay. said extra shy, extra, extra shy, Emmy award winning. Uh, right. so, so come. Okay, yeah. so let's okay, talk yeah, about let's Wonder talk Woman. Wonder Woman. Yeah, the let's high talk about Wonder Woman. Go ahead. Go ahead. So Mark Selling got a chance to talk to the director of Wonder Woman, Patty Woo Jenkins, about yeah. uh, the movie. Let's point out. This was the highest grossing film by a female director in history. Oh, it was held time. by the director of Fifty Shades of Grey before that, the uh, two directors for Matrix Reloaded. So Patty yeah. took the lead spot with over $100 million. Nice. Um, but Mark got a chance to talk to, to her. Talk, talk to Patty. Do we yeah. have uh, that footage? Can we talk to that? Rolling. If the praise you're getting from me, and I know everybody else is pretty much saying the same thing, you've probably never attached yourself to anything that automatically has so many eyes ready to criticize it from the beginning. Yeah, never. I yeah. heard early, early, let's talk about the serious issues now that she didn't have enough armpit hair. Yeah. You know, the hard topics Serious that business. <laughs> I know that was a very, very funny one. When I saw it, the arm hair is a, is a, is a conversation one could have, but the, the actually that stemmed from someone saying that we had bleached her underarms, which I was like, does, is that a thing? I don't even think that's a thing. It's, 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 it's so interesting, the different conversations. The nuanced you know? criticism yeah. before the movies even hatched. Yeah, exactly. Is that a and, thing? And is that a oh, thing? No, no, and, no, no, make, no, 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 no. We, we get waxed and we haven't had that appointment no. this week. So let's I sincerely oh, apologize. Not <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Alan, yeah. HR. And I'm Mexican. Oh. We hairy. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, yes, okay, to answer Jenkins' question, yes, <laughs> bleach underarms is a thing. <laughs> it is a thing. But why is that the conversation? Why did someone decide to, to, to make that the conversation when this film, by the way, I saw it on Friday. Right. So good. I saw it at the same theater that we filmed uh, Best Teacher of the Year. Teacher of the Year. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's I where know. you should see it. The SR IMAX Theater, giant screen. At one point, Caesar's like, this screen's almost too big. I'm like, shh. 
This is <laughs> a big <laughs> screen. That's why we're here. But anyways, it does so much for that next generation. Speaking of next, you know, yeah. the, the generation where, whose minds we're trying to mold and, mm -hmm. and help be great women. I mean, I came out of there going, oh, oh, <laughs> trying right. to like flex my muscles. And she is, on top of being smart and talented, and yeah, she was a little naive, but she was so self-deprecating. Everything about Gal Gadot's character as Wonder Woman is amazing. Uh, but she's, yeah, pretty beautiful as right. well. Mm -hmm. And she was pregnant part of the time. What right. about the supporting female <sighs> cast? The opening third of the movie, you ladies oh, haven't seen so it, so good. you won't get it, but the opening third of the movie celebrates yeah. strong womanhood oh, everywhere. Oh, yeah, it does. They mm -hmm. live in, well, in the Amazon. I don't want to spill anything. But yeah. Please don't spill it. I want to go see it later. Okay. Okay. And then let, but let's talk about okay. it because um, we don't see too many uh, films in Hollywood right. at all being directed by women. So to have yeah. a movie this big directed by Patty Jenkins, mm -hmm. that says a lot. And Patty Jenkins also, also wrote and directed Monster, which I didn't know right. until recently, You're which is, which is a great tough. movie. And we just had this conversation, I think last week, with Jessica Chastain, and she had gone on at that show and an after watching all of the Cannes Film Festival movies saying that there wasn't enough female representation in mm -hmm. the behind the scenes and the putting the films together, the directing, the producing. The yeah, and she said she was very disappointed with the female lack of turnout. And so we always have these conversations, you know, when will women be seen as equal parts in, in these movies? And it's going to happen when we have more women leading the way. And I so will say not just on the big screen, but behind, behind the scenes, the screen. right? That's right. And I, you know, I think there are a lot of great directors. I've been, I mean, I'm not just jumping on the bandwagon here, right. ladies. No, Ava I know DuVernay, who directed Selma, is one of my favorite directors of all time. Going back to Nora Ephron, Penny Marshall with Vig, and A League of Their Own, mm -hmm. another oh, movie yeah. that celebrates yes. women. So you got Penny Rosie Marshall, Sophia Coppola. Madonna. My favorite directors in Hollywood are ladies. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out. Catherine and Bigelow. So Catherine Bigelow. And then, oh, go ahead, Dina. I was just going to ask you, Mark. You've covered movies for what, 30 years plus? 67 years. You're only 28, <laughs> so I don't know how that no, happened. Don't, I've got before Botox you, older before than you. Before you were born. Today. So from your perspective, do you... Do you see this? I know we hear about it from actors and actresses, but mm -hmm. do you see it when you're going and watching these films that there just really isn't enough female representation? I mean, are you seeing that? When do you, you're going do you out? pay do you attention it? to that as a male? Yeah. I think we're going to see less and less. I think the change is here. I think the time is right less for change. Less what? Males? In, that you're going to see more female representation okay. in Hollywood, not just in the director, but also in producers mm -hmm. and uh, all the way down the food chain. And what do you think it is behind that at this point? Is it because there have been as many opportunities, or do you think the interest for women wasn't always there? The lack of pushing? Like, do I, I we push like our it, young girls to get into films, not just to be the pretty it's faces? About, it's Hollywood's like, no different yeah. than corporate America. There's been a ceiling there, just as yeah. there's been a ceiling in every other Fortune 500 company, but we're going to see that change dramatically yeah. over the next, I think we're going to see more change in the next five than we've seen in the last yeah. 50. And once All you get in that position, you have the power to change. Speaking of Ava DuVernay, she produces and directs Queen Sugar, but on every episode of Queen Sugar, a woman directs each episode. And she makes and that she happen. Makes that happen. Yeah. So it depends. Once you get into a position of power, yeah. you can decide what you're willing to do in right. the envelope that you want to push. So if you want all women directors, you want to give directors a chance who will never get an opportunity like that to get their foot in the door, then that's going to be on you. Yeah. And on a small that screen, too, Shonda Rhimes. I mean, we are yeah. seeing, we're seeing that happen more and more. Thursday nights. This yeah. weekend, see? you're going to see two movies directed by women battling it up. Megan Levy, directed by Gabrielle oh. Copperweight. Okay. So, what other one? And, and this Wonder, movie. Woman. Wonder and, Woman. And Wonder Woman. Okay. Yeah. It's such a good cool. movie. I really encourage you guys Fast to Fast Times at Ridgemont High, a movie that I've based my whole life on, was directed by a woman. Oh, by a woman. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh, that was <laughs> good. That's, uh, I've got an appointment <laughs> with Mr. Hand over here. No. Oh, I, love I have that a whole one. list. I haven't seen a monster. You look so good for 27, Mark. 